Two things that new YouTubers worry about are getting more views and subscribers. What if I tell you these two can be driven with a straightforward trick? Hi, this is Praveen from Pickmaker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design and use YouTube end screens to get more views and subscribers to your channel. Hang on till the end because I'm sharing three best end screen practices that can drive your desired result. Before we jump into the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you won't miss exciting videos like this. Without any further ado, let's dive in right now. I don't want to bore you with the definition. In short, an end screen is something you can add at the end of your video that suggests to your viewers what to do next. It can be to watch other videos on your channel or a playlist or invite them to subscribe to our channel. Now that you know what is an end screen, let's see how to design one. You can design a YouTube end screen in no time. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use Pickmaker, a DIY design software that lets you create stunning designs in minutes. Sign in or sign up to Pickmaker using your credentials. You'll be landed on the dashboard decked with professionally designed templates. Use the search bar to find the right YouTube end screen template. Here we have different templates to choose from. Ask yourself what you want your audience to do after watching your video. Do you want them to watch your previous or the next video? Are you going to feature a playlist that can help them to watch more? If your idea is to gain more followers, you need to choose a template with a subscribe circle. I'm going to choose this template to customize. As you can see, you can customize every single element in this design. Change the text, color and background based on your interest. To download this design, click on the download button at the top right. There's no download limit for our starter and pro plan users. They can download in JPEG, PNG and PDF formats. Upgrade to the starter or pro plan to have more download options. Once you downloaded the design, import it to your video editing tool. I'm using Premiere Pro. No matter what your video editing software is, this process is the same. Add the downloaded end card design at the end of the clips. The duration of the end screen is up to you. We recommend having it between 5 to 20 seconds. Export the video in your desired format and upload it on YouTube. Adding a YouTube end screen to your video is a piece of cake. Open YouTube Studio and click on Content in the sidebar. Select a video to edit. On the right side, you'll notice end screen. Click on this plus icon. As I said, you can add a special video, a playlist, subscribe button or link it to your other channel or an external website. If you'd like to gain more followers, it's best to add a subscribe button. Be sure to place the elements in the right position. Once you are done, hit the save button. That's how you add a YouTube end screen to your video. Since YouTube end card plays a vital role in boosting views and subscribers, you need to follow these best practices to get the most out of it. Feature a video that is closely related to the one they just watched. They are most likely to watch the video if it is relevant. Always think like your viewers and act as if you know them. Use call to action like subscribe text on your end screen. It's better to verbally ask them to watch another video or subscribe to our channel. It's always better to ask than assume that your audience will watch your next video. Add an end screen background that helps your viewers to focus on the end screen elements. Avoid messy backgrounds that may merge with your existing elements. Viewers tend to skip your end screen if it's cluttered and not appealing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and never forget to subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss the upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.